This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to do a video uh, about some exciting news and that is that Pixar released RenderMan 21 yesterday. Okay, This video is going to be uh, for people that are new to RenderMan, but if you have worked with previous versions, you can uh, check it out, of course. And we're going to run through uh, kind of the similarities and differences with other uh, renderers like uh, Metal Ray, Arnold and so forth. Okay, So uh, let's jump in and check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, RenderMan 21 and RenderMan 21.2 to be exact, okay? It's been released yesterday and uh, in this video I want to do a quick run through for those of you who are completely new to RenderMan. If you have worked with RenderMan before, you are uh, welcome to stick around and uh, check it out. But uh, we're mainly going to run through the basics and how RenderMan is different from, for example, Arnold or Mental Ray or anything else, okay? So before we get started, uh, we need to get RenderMan. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Google. Here we go. And while we're in Google, we're simply going to search for RenderMan 21 and we're going to select non-commercial, okay? And the reason being that uh, Pixar made a non-commercial version uh, available for free, okay? So as long as you don't use it for commercial purposes, you can use it, okay? So we're going to click on that link which will bring us to the website and here you can download and install your plugin now keep in mind that before you can run through that installation process one of the things that you need to do is um, create an account on the forum so you need to create an uh, account name and a password you will receive an email that you need to confirm and once once all that is done you can then download and install the plugin okay and just run through the steps and it will tell you when it's done all right so when that's done, we're going to jump back into Maya, and there you go. And what I did here is I loaded up a basic uh, Maya scene, a textured uh, box uh, on a ground plane, and I set up two spotlights, and I set up a bookmark, okay? So it's just in that position, all right? So what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that our plugin that we just installed is loaded. We're going to go to uh, Windows, Outliner, uh, no, not outliner, sorry, settings preferences, plugin manager, and we're going to scroll down until we find renderman for maya.mll. Make sure it's loaded so that you can use it in this uh, scene here, and if you want to automatically load next time, check that one as well, okay? So once you've done that, you should have this uh, menu up here and this one up here, okay? Cool. So we got this scene set up. So basically we should be able to render this out, right? Now we have two options for rendering here. We have our render this uh, frame option and we have our IPR render, okay? Now the IPR render is more the kind of uh, lower quality real time uh, update as you change uh, type deal. And the other one is your normal render, okay? So we're just gonna hit IPR and let's give that a second guys i'm uh, running a uh, high definition video recording system while we're doing this so it takes a while okay all right so it opened up our ipr render window and you can see that it shows our cube but two things we can notice right now one is that the cube does not show the texture that's on it okay and two, although we have light in this scene, it is not our spotlight. And we can see that as well, all right? Now, the reason for that is that RenderMan does not recognize uh, lights that are not RenderMan lights. And it also doesn't recognize textures if they are not RenderMan textures, okay? So you would think, okay, well, if that's the case, then what's the point of using RenderMan? But I'll explain, so hang on, okay? Cool, so we got this, uh, it doesn't show anything basically. So what we can do is we can uh, just close that down and we're gonna go into our scene and we're just gonna simply get rid of that spotlight, okay? So Windows, now we're gonna go to Outliner, right there. We're gonna look for our spotlight, delete it, look at the other spotlight, delete it, okay? 
Our scene is completely black and just to prove to you that it will still show lights in our IPR, I'm just going to start that up again. And again, let's just give that a second. Shouldn't take too long. There it is. Come on, baby. There you go. So like I said, default lighting. All right, cool. So let's get on with this. All right. So um, let's set up some lighting for ourselves. Okay. Now we have two big lights right here that we can apply. And we have a menu here as well where it says lights. Okay. Now I prefer to use this menu, but you can use that as well. Here you can right click and choose the type of light that you want. This is pretty much like um, spotlight, rectangular light, and so forth. This is more the sun and sky type of deal, okay? But I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna go here to lights, and I'm just gonna take a rectangular light, okay? Now I'm just gonna zoom out and hit four on my keyboard so you can see where it's been put. I'm gonna hit W to pull that up and pull that out. And I'll hit R to scale it up a little bit. You can see that it has the logo in it, so you can see it's a render man light. And you can see that it has an arrow pointing at my cube, right? Now I want to aim this somewhat, so I'm going to hit W to pull this back a little, pull that up. And when I hit T on my keyboard, I'll get this little aim control right here that I can now point towards my cube. Okay, cool. So uh, normally if you hit five on your keyboard you will see the default six will give you textured and seven will show your lights well as you can see here not with render man lights okay so what's the deal will it show up in our ipr let's go to uh, view and bookmarks there we go and let's try that again we're going to hit ipr once again give that a second shouldn't take too long And we'll wait until it starts to render. There you go. So you can see that the um, the cube is visible, but barely. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first of all go to a window and make sure that that's always on top right there. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control A. Let's uh, minimize that. We'll go into our attribute editor. And then we're going to pull that back up. Hang on. Okay, so now it's pretty much uh, real-time updating. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase that intensity. Okay, so let's do five. And let's do, uh, let's see, let's try 50. Okay, now you're seeing a difference. Let's try 500. There you go. So you can see that you need to have a fairly intense um, uh, light strength to have it show. And here, as always, you know, you can go in, you can change the color of that light if you like, right? And because of its brightness is blown out right now. So what we'll do is like that and then bring this down to 50. And now you can see that it's quite red, okay? So that all works. So that's nice, but what about my texture? Okay, so we'll set this back to white. And let's do 500. Okay, cool. And we're just gonna shut this guy down. And let's talk about our texture, okay? I'm gonna hit five on my keyboard here. Six, actually. So this uh, texture map is a material that we plugged into our Lambert. But as uh, I explained, RenderMan doesn't recognize Lamberts. So we need to apply a um, RenderMan material to this, right? Now for that, if we go up to the RenderMan tab, we have a material section. And here you have the Pixar surface material, you have layer surface, and you have a couple of more options here. We're going to go with the Pixar surface. And once we do that, we immediately have a completely gray object and uh, our texture is completely gone. Okay. So in our attribute editor, this is our material tab. I can, for example, go in and let's make this a blue material. No problem, right? 
We'll just do a test render to see if it actually shows that blue. And again, it's uh, it's kind of slow. My apologies for that. And our light strength wasn't too high when we left it, but you can clearly see that it's blue. Okay, so that works. All right. So, but how do I get my texture in here? Well, we're just going to shut this down. Basically, the same way you would do that in um, in Mental Ray or any other render. What you do is you go into your color here and you hit that checkered box and you go to file and then you select your folder. Hang on. Yeah, right there. And then I'm going to go with my yeah, diffuse map. Open that up. There we go. So now if we hit that IPR, it should show our texture. And once again, let's give that a second. It's coming, it's coming, and there we go. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, just quickly increase the light intensity. Hang on. Okay, guys, I bumped the light strength up to 200. And now you can clearly see that the, uh, the texture has been loaded. Okay. So that is basically how that works. So uh, like I said, a very, very basic tutorial. But just to show you how to use RenderMan lights, how to use RenderMan materials, and how to use IPR rendering. Okay, so hopefully that will get you started. If you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.